Regarigen is situated in the central part of Latvia and its metropolis in the capital city of Latvia, Riga. Riga is the largest city of the Baltic states, despite a relatively small population of 800,000. It has a large old town, which stretches alongside the Daugava River, with a number of historical monuments. It is famous for its Arts Nouveau architecture. Riga accounts for 54% of the total industrial production in Latvia. The major industries are transit, financing, energy, food processing, pharmacy and wood products. The world's oldest civilization have understood that nation's greatest treasure is the people. Latvia and particularly Riga is one of example of how great people and great ideas are often born in relatively small countries and cities. There have always lived people who have a passion for innovation and adventure. In 1937, Enrique began producing of the world's first functioning miniature camera Minox, which soon became known as the legendary spy camera. Minox was invented by Walter Zapp from Riga. Several dozens of drugs widely used in the world have been developed in Latvia. For example, cancer drug widely used in the world today. What about innovators and innovative companies today? Aerodium is first and the only company in Latvia and one few companies in entire world which offers unique entertainment service, possibility to fly. For this entertainment service they are specially adapted technical equipment, wind tunnels. I will fly! <laughs> Canadian inventor Jean Saint Germain in 1979 built first uh, vertical wind tunnel and as we call it it's the first uh, recreational vertical wind tunnel it was built nearby Montreal in Canada and uh, actually why it was built is because uh, Jean Saint Germain wanted to prove uh, the discussion he had with, uh, with other inventors and scientists that people cannot be brought up uh, in the air by the by the really strong uh, stream of uh, airflow. Uh, the company, and actually it's, it became really important since uh, this, uh, this year March when we originally, a Latvian company who brought in Aerodium, took over original inventors of vertical wind tunnels. Aerodium, uh, Aerodium Latvia, Latvian company, was uh, invited for open tender to, be, to, to provide the show for uh, Torino Olympics closing ceremony in Italy and uh, in this open tender actually the good thing about it that uh, in the beginning uh, when we started to, to participate in the standard uh, like we sent in the cost estimate and everything and those guys in, in Italy they said okay Aerodium is really fine but it's too expensive it's three, time, three times more expensive than any other offers so we just uh, thought okay if we are kicked out of the door we will get in through the window and what we did, actually, it was the overnight thing. We just shoot the video of what we can do as a, as a stuntman in the airflow and just send over to the producers of the Torino Olympic uh, closing ceremony the video. And uh, it was immediate call back. And they say, okay, we really like what you can, what you have, we really like what you can do. And uh, we really like that you will be the ones who will serve this special show in our Toledo Olympics. Dragim is a social networking website launched on 2004. It is currently the largest social networking website in Latvia with 2.4 million registered users. The company is one of very good examples how to create successful business by having just good idea and very limited resources. 
but uh, there is written a website name called Friendster. This is a website's name that I came across uh, reading web, and um, they were the first ones to introduce uh, to the world uh, the principle of friends of friends of friends. Um, <clears throat> I am not a very smart person, and um, it took about two months for me to understand what the hell this means. And even after I um, launched Draugium, in the first weeks I was telling my close friends what it means, like, you meet your friends of friends of friends, and he's, what are you nuts, what does it mean? So, it took some time for me to realize what it really means. Company Brain Games is established in year 2004. This company is adapting, developing, testing, producing and selling board games in Baltic states. The company is offering to the users the world's best board games and ensuring that those board games are made from very high quality materials. They are precisely developed and tested. The company has excellent customer service, very individual attitude towards each single client. As well, they are organizing different social events for board games lovers. I love board games produced by this company. They are really high quality. The rules are clear, no mistakes in instruction, which is a typical thing for board games which are produced by other companies. They are just translating text without testing the game in action. And also, uh, one more very important thing that these games are made from very high quality materials. For example, this game we already are using for several years and it's still fine. In your opinion, what are the main factors or aspects that can stimulate innovation? Maybe uh, some brain games can stimulate it. Uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's a braveness. Uh, it's a main factor. It's, uh, is the person dares to risk because uh, innovation is a mystery mystery also in science new discoveries uh, are made just by attempt by guess and uh, in business uh, you make a risky attempt and it might be failure but it might be success so so the brainness is what you have uh, have to have uh, in order to make this uh, step into unknown okay Usually in one of my presentations, I, uh, when I'm talking with students, I, I, I ask to raise hands which would like, which would like, who would like to be entrepreneur. Yeah, it's only five, maximum ten percent. Everybody, everybody, I would like to find a good job somewhere. Some somebody will give me job and so on, so yeah. And it is maybe it is a Latvian mentality in some sense, uh, in some sense uh, so on. And then yeah, and then I ask why you are are going to higher, why you would like to get higher education? Why? So I would like to get better job. <laughs> that's the answer. Nobody is saying I would like to be an entrepreneur. And that's in my mind. It is the most crucial point in Latvian education system that we are not preparing people willing to be entrepreneur, to be businessman. Tehnoloģiskus dizainu, ekonomiskos risinājumus, šīs te problēmas 
problēmu uz apmēnumašanai. Droši vien, ka tā svarīgā lieta, ka ir nepieciešama, ka tam ir jābūt kaut kur cilvēkā iekšienē, jo pie mums, teiksim, tai ir vajadzībā jābūt kaut kur dvēselē iekšā, jo pie mums studenti nenāk, lai tikai tiktu pie diplomu, viņi maksā naudu, viņi kā paši sāk, ka cik vienu gribētu tikai diplomu, tad citur varbūt mēs to iegūtu vieglāk un lētā. Tātad, nu, viņam ir tā vajadzība, ja vajadzība meklēt kaut ko jauna vajadzība un interese. Nu, protams, ka ne visi pēc tam arī turpina būt, teiksim, vai inovācija nekļūst par viņu dzīves motoru. Tie ir cilvēki, kam tas ir dzīves motoru, bet, ja kurā gadījumā dažādi veida inovatīvas pieejas biznesa problēma risināšanai nodarīt kurā biznesā. The School of Business Administration Turība is one of the business educational institutions in Latvia. Main aim of school is to prepare new entrepreneurs who can after graduation start their own business. But how? Uh, we offer for our students a business incubator, which means that our students can establish a new company and we support for them in the beginning of their business. We offer for free their uh, business offices and equipment and uh, give uh, persons less uh, loan for the established capital and students can just create their own ideas and own business and we help for that. Uh, other reason is that we have very good uh, education in uh, distance learning where we often uh, offer the business administration programs and in this reason we are, let's say, the one of the leading universities in Latvia. Vīras atbalsts centrs man sniedz to, ka es varu izmantot šo telpu, varu pieņemt savu klientus un darboties ar internetu un telefonu un visu, kas tiek šeit piedāvāts. Es darbojos atdrošināšanā, pašlaik es esmu kā aģents firmā, firma CIA Easy, kā aģents darbojos un var arī Un pēc laiciņa arī domāju, ka arī taisīšu tā kā īsti savu biznesu par arī droši vien kā kaut ko saistīt to ar drošināšanu. You should have some real business model in order to pay for your servers, for your meals, etc. Have a team. If you have an idea, it's always too late. You should have a product and, and, and launch and test even if it's uh, not ready. 